Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, Molly and I are going to show you what we got when we went thrifting as part of the vlog I posted the other day. So if you like this kind of content, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel where I upload thrifting, decor, and DIY videos. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Ready, Molly? Here, Here we, we go. go. <laughs> first thrift store st vincent st vinnie's yes. st vincent de paul thrift in, in minneapolis. minneapolis okay so let's start um i do have my afternoon tea i'm you know still getting over my cold this mug says hey sugar that's that was cute. cute for valentine's day i'm drinking my zen with my chamomile so why don't you start malsy okay so i really only buy clothes and like accessory type things um, the first store had some really good prices. All clothes were half off. Oh, yeah. So I got this little, uh, like, burgundy color button down. I usually wear it with my, uh, with my mom jeans, or for some of you, you might just call them jeans. jeans. Um, but I wear them with my mom jeans, just with, like, open with, like, a black shirt or a white shirt under it. So that's the first one. And then you got this one. This is for, uh, my dad. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll show that one. Okay. So I got this for Chris. So Chris likes to wear a vest every day. He's like Mr. Rogers. Um, and he wanted a gray one for Christmas and we couldn't find one, but I found this and it's Columbia. But where's the, yeah, there's the little insignia. It's in really good shape. It doesn't look similar. And, and yeah, I tell them the price. So the price was originally five, but it was half off. So it was two fifty. And the one I just showed you was uh, $1. So I got it for 50 cents because yep. it was half off. All right. And the next thing I got is this little pink zip up hoodie thing it's unzipped right now because again that's how i wear them i don't really zip them for it's the most velour. part it's velour that's the, the texture the or the fabric yes and i love pink apparently that was my theme today the guy at the register noticed he goes oh a lot of pink and i was like well i don't know man um we need to tell them it's oh, yeah. motherhood brand <laughs> She's not pregnant. I did point it out in the store. I was like, you know, it's motherhood, right? And she's like, oh, it's more comfortable. I picked up like three maternity <laughs> things. If it fits. Nobody has to know. If it fits, Nobody it doesn't matter. Exactly. So. Okay. So. Right. Oh, where's the hole? Right there. Okay. It feels like it's over here, but it's not. It's, it's not. over here. No. Okay. Make sure <laughs> no, we're looking here. Because okay. sometimes I forget. Sometimes. Okay. Just, okay. There's a couple more things. Oh, I like that. I didn't even see that one. More pink. This one, again, a button down. I'd wear it open with my mom jeans. That's a large. No wonder I didn't find that much. You took, you um, swooped. For me, you swooped. <laughs> I don't look at sizes ever because she, um, I wear a small and it's like tighter fitting, but I wear a large and it's kind of comfy and baggy. So small to large is what I wear. I do even have some extra large. The shirt I'm wearing under this, XL. This is an XL. So... Size doesn't really matter to me. I just wear whatever's comfy. That's so cute. And I went to it up for myself. And she went through the clothing before I did. And I think she scooped everything I would have gotten. Because I only found one thing. So. I keep forgetting to do prices. This was uh, $3.99 originally. So I got it for $2. The next thing I got is an XL actually. It is Tommy Bahama brand. And it's got this kind of like faded worn look. Which I really like. It's super soft and comfy. Um, this one was $3.99 originally. So I got it for $2. Nice. And then I am a big fan, again, with my mom jeans. That's really all I wear. What she means by mom jeans is that they're no longer low rise. You know, for yeah. like 20 years, jeans have been low rise. And suddenly, like, regular waist yeah. is now called high rise or they're just called mom jeans. Sometimes they call them boyfriend jeans. It's like they're it's tighter like, fitting at the waist and then they get baggy toward... It's like 1980s, yeah. early 90s jeans. But we call them mom jeans because that's what our moms used to wear. But what goes around comes around. That's so. right. All good. All... <laughs> All old things are new again. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I got this just plain Eddie Bauer t-shirt. It's in really good shape or long sleeve t-shirt, I guess. Um, this is an XL as well. <laughs> this is actually a 2XL. See? Wow, that's big, Molly. Fashion has no boundaries. I tried it on. Huh. Must have shrunk. I tried it on. If it's cotton, someone probably shrunk yeah, it's it. cotton. Um, this one was $2.99 originally, so I got it for $1.50. And then this one is Mom's. Oh, this, I tried this on. It's really soft. I wish you could reach through the screen to feel it. It's very soft and nice. And um, what is the brand? Uh, I think that's just like, it's either Walmart or it's like Ridge Gear. Yeah. It's like Walmart or Kohl's or I don't know. Something. It's very soft. Though. But it's super comfy. It has a zip. 
and it has this like it makes it look like there's a shirt underneath oh, it cute. and it's like that stretchy so really cute and I really really like it and it was normally $4.99 where's the whole there you go normally $4.99 I don't know why I'm forgetting how to YouTube now that you're here normally $4.99 but I got it for $2.50 okay little sorry all right and then my last thing from that store this is just kind of this isn't particularly exciting I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a college student, so I'm a big fan of just wearing my sweats. So I got just a plain pair of black Hanes sweatpants that are comfy. They were a dollar, so I got them for 50 cents. I'll yeah. show you what I, I got a lot of stuff. It's, it's going to be a haul. long haul. It's going to be a long haul. Get a coffee, get a, right. get a little uh, snackaroo. We'll have to split it if it gets too long. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. It'll be, fun. okay, so I got this. This is not for me. This is for a friend I met on Instagram. I think I might have shown another one. Um, she is looking to make a tiered tray out of this specific bake pan, which I think is a really good idea. I might look for some for myself, but she is in um, the country in Colorado and doesn't have a lot of thrifting around her. So she asked me to keep an eye out for these. So I found one like two weeks or a week or two ago, and then I found this one today for 99 cents. Okay, then I got, I got a lot to sell today. So I'm going to do some listing. Oh, he I taped think. these up. He did tape these. Oh, darn. Okay. So it, they're Fitz and Floyd. That's a ceramics maker. The more you know. Yeah. And um, he taped them up. But they're basically, um, I'll just open one. They're corn on the cob dishes. So they're white. Really cute. They don't. I don't think they're ever used because they have like their wrappings there. And so it's a corn on the cob dish. And then it does have a mark on it. It just, no, it it, just it needs, to be, to be needs to be white. It's been in someone's garage, I think. Yeah. And then they each come with these little... Corn, corn skewers. Holders. So I got two sets of that corn dish, which, you know, I'm thinking summer, like people might like these and they're, they're definitely vintage. And then also along the same note, I got this entire set for a dollar 99. I've actually sold this already. Um, what? one other time. Yeah. A different one. Oh, I was like, no, not this so one. Fast. That was a couple <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> I have sold this set before. So these are white false graph and uh, I learned from um, I learned from Jamie from Border Bananas that that means it, because it's stamped in there and has the castle or something that it's um, vintage false graph so these are four vintage false graph corn on the cob dishes for a dollar ninety nine super cute and I think I mentioned the Fitz and Floyd were a dollar forty nine so the other thing I got to sell I think this is really pretty it's a brown drip Ladder. I don't know the mark. Maybe one of you does. It says USA MCP. You got it. I don't know. I think it was shiny. Yeah, there you go. And I got it for two dollars and nineteen cents. So that I'm going to list on my Etsy shop. It does not have any chips or cracks or anything. But I think it's really pretty. The boho thing is coming back. Like boho mid-century decor. I got you. So, okay. And then for myself at St. Vinny's, I got this. So pretty. So, you know, I use my strawberry decor in the summer, especially like for my like patriotic stuff. It goes really well with my red, white, and blue stuff. And so I thought this was perfect because it has the blue on there. I'm probably going to use this for herbs, although I haven't committed to that yet. And then I got <clears throat> this little pitcher. I've been looking for personal creamers. I learned about them from Chapter 2 Vintage. If you don't watch her, you should be. Um, and so I've been keeping an eye out for these. And this one is Syracuse China. That's a thing. <laughs> I have no idea. And I got that for 99 cents. So that's for my personal collection. And then I have one more thing, which now we're in. Here it is. Okay. Oh, it's actually two things, but they're the same things. Oh, it's actually three things. Oh, I got one other thing to sell. So this is another um, Copenhagen oh God, plate made in Denmark. No, it has a little thing on it to um, hang it. And I've sold two of these. This is Christmas 1978. I have sold two of these, not this exact one, but this kind of plate. So I thought, no, oh, people seem to like them. I'll pick another one up. It was $2.99. And then I got these two to add to my collection. Johnson Brothers Ironstone. That's the Snow White Regency that I'm trying to collect. That's the name of the pattern. Okay. So I got those and they were 49 cents a piece. So that was a really good deal. Scored. Okay, Molly, let's move on to the next store. Next what store. was it called? So, uh, next store was, they changed the name. Mm, oh, oh. It used to be... Steeple People. It used to be Steeple People. Oh, Old School by Steeple People. Now it's called Old School Thrift. And it's in... 
It's in Minneapolis. Anyway, so yeah, so this is Old School by Steeple People. What did you get there? Oh, I didn't that. get a ton. No. So, oh no, where are your little earrings? They're right here. Oh, okay. Um, so they're clothes there. Little disclaimer, they're a little more pricey. I don't know. I'm kind of. I think it's because of location. It's probably because of location. It's like close to downtown. So yeah. It's so I, I don't know. I don't like to spend more than like five dollars on like a top from somewhere that's thrifted, unless it's like a really good brand. Um, but I did find this belt just because I wear black belts every day, so I kind of destroy them. It's just kind of like faux leather type stuff. It was two dollars. That's why you destroy them. If you'd get a leather one, it wouldn't get destroyed. I'm on a college budget, so full leather it is for now. Okay. Um, and then I got these kind of, they kind of remind me of like, I don't know, groovy 70s. They're 80s. Oh, groovy 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was born in 2000. I got these little They're really cute. And they go earrings. with all your pink stuff. Yes, and they go with all my pink stuff. So I was like, I like little, this. little dude. Do and then um, for me at old school... I got this Pyrex lid. I have a white and pink Pyrex of this size that needs a lid. It was only 50 cents, so that was a super great deal. Pyrex is very collectible yes. and expensive to buy the lids especially. I got this for a DIY. I'm gonna be doing a look for less. While I was choosing my look for less for last week, I found another thing I wanna make, um, but I need this to do it. Um, the one they used was actually a little more modern looking, but I like this one because I wanted the square, but I like it because it kind of looks like a jar. So it's a little more country. You know, I'm a little bit country in my decor. So, um, and this was half off. This was our one thing that was half off. So oh, that store, yeah. right? Pink is, tags were all half off. Pink. And they counted this as pink, even though it's purple. Oh, me, but by the they way, did count it as pink. my earrings were a dollar. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so this was a dollar as well. And then I also got two a little more spendy things. I got this for This myself. was a good deal, though. Yeah. This one was a really good this deal. This is men's, but it's Izod, and it's brand new. I mean, no one ever wore it. It's in really good shape. Um, you can see. Really cozy. I like it's big an emerald sweaters. color. Yeah. This color looks nice with my hair, and it was $6, um, but because it's so new, I thought that was fine. And yeah. then, oh, I love this. This is cute. This is really pretty. I paid $8 for this. But it's a vintage Spending. quilt, I know. And it was made originally as a wall hanging. I am not going to hang it on my wall. I'm going to throw it over a chair in here. But I love the colors. I told Molly, if you had told me like four years ago I'd be decorating with pink and blue, I would have told you you were, you were a little nutty. But, <laughs> but um, I love it. And it's got the green in there too because you know I brought green in as well. And like the creams and the whites. So I think this is going to look really pretty in this room with my pillows that I've introduced to the space. See that? Mm -hmm. It's going to look good. So that was $8. Did I say that already? Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, you did. Because I said, oh, bright. Yeah. Um, but it's all hand done. You can, I don't want to get it on my tee, but you can kind of see this is all just handmade. So I thought that was really cool. And you can tell it's older. It's, the fabric is a little worn out, but I like that. You know, I like the vintage-iness to it. So... So that was my, that was probably my biggest purchase of the day. Then we went to the double then store. We, then we went to lunch. That no, we went fantastic. to Savers first, remember? Oh, we did? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. We went to Savers first. Youth. We were going to one Savers, and then we went to the wrong one. No, not one. Savers. Salvation Army. What's Savers? Savers, we didn't go to a Savers. They're expensive. That's a thrift store. Yeah, it is. Sorry, it's confusing. Um, we went to Salvation Army. We were yeah. going to one. We went to the wrong one, but then it wound up being a two-in-one store. Uh, so there were two floors. Um, downstairs was kind of pricey for my that taste. That was like the regular Salvation Army thrift. Yeah, but it was like, they had like brand new stuff from Target, which is like a good deal, but it was all like $15 for a shirt, so I was kind of like... Not, not thrifty. Not thrifty. But upstairs was where, if you watch our vlog that was posted before this probably, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, they had actually bins, like the Goodwill bins upstairs. So that's where I found my stuff, but yeah. you found stuff. And my stuff good. was also upstairs, and the upstairs prices were very good. Yeah, they were they cheap. Were. So, yeah. so where's our stuff? Oh, depends. here it is. Okay. I have my stuff over here. And I have mine, so. so you go first. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I got this really big Carhartt t-shirt. but hey, it matches your hat. matches my hat, if you can see. I don't know, Carhartt is trendy right now. I'm trying to keep up with the trends. So that's why I got that. Then I got this extra extra large oh my goodness zip zip up from old navy oh it smells fresh like fresh laundry it does smell fresh which is funny because it's from the bins so oh. it's not fresh yeah no. but so th i thought that was cute again i just keep it unzipped with some jeans and a little undershirt so i thought that was cute 
Then again, just a big gray sweatshirt. I'm all about being comfy while also being able to oh, that's dress champion? cute. Yeah, so that's champion. that's champions, a nice brand. Champions in right now too. I looked, there's no stains, which is surprising because it's such a light gray color, yeah. but champion, it's pretty fuzzy on the inside. Um, it hasn't really been worn a lot, if you wow. can see that. So yeah. it's nice. nice. So that was that one, and then how much was it? Oh, it's, it's all bins. the bins. It what was all the, the bins, so it was one forty nine a pound, just like Goodwill. Oh yeah, it was one forty nine unless you hit. I think he said twenty five pounds, and then it went to ninety nine cents. Oh, we did not hit that much. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, we spent like a little under eight dollars. I checked the receipt yeah. on clothes. Yeah. And then my last clothing item, but then I found one for mom too. This one's oh, kind of funny. Oh, so cute. So I, I see this. again like like long sleeve t shirts. That's a big one with to wear with my jeans, and it has a little Mickey and Donald Duck. Mickey's spilling some paint or something. I don't that know. so cute. I'm big into Disney, so I thought that was really cute and kind of fun. So, yeah. And then I found... Do you want to grab your sweater? Oh, right yeah. There? And then she found this for me. Because she likes to wear bigger men's sweaters because they're comfy. So, this one's a really nice brand. Um, and it looks pretty new, too. It doesn't yeah, look super it's warm. Blue. I love the color. It's blue. What's the brand? Oh, it's Chaps. So, yeah. It's a nice brand. That's nice. It's like Macy's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, not bad, but it was... That could also be Kohl's. Like a okay. dollar-ish. Yeah. Okay, and then for my stuff, I got this. This was three ninety nine. Oh, um, but you remember, I have the heart one. I should turn the camera. Uh, I'll maybe I'll I'll slip some footage. Insert in here. footage here. That's right. Here's the other birdcage that I got. I got it a few weeks ago, and one of you suggested that I hang it and put an air plant in it, which is what I did. Then I don't have to worry about dirt or water or anything. And I added a little bird that was also a subscriber suggestion. It's a little dark, sorry. So I wanted to have other ones to go with it. I'd like to have three. And so I found this one. It does have pink flowers all over it. I, I just, like the Do flowers. you like the pink flowers? I like it better they go than in here. Green. If it was just white. Yeah. Because even in the springtime, pink yeah. is a good color. So I'm going to hang this from the ceiling with another air plant in here. Whoever, Whichever of you told me to put an air plant, that was genius. I don't know why I hadn't thought of that myself, genius. but... I'm going to put another air plant in here and it's going to look lovely. So I'd like to have three of them hanging from my ceiling in here. I think that would look pretty for springtime. I'll have to take them down in winter because they're where the Christmas tree goes, but for now it's okay. All right. And then I got this to sell. This is just, um, I've done well with vintage barware. This is say, a what bottle is opener. So it's a can opener and then you can use it to open bottles, oh, cool. your bottles or whatever. And it was um, $1.99, but it has a Bakelite handle, and it says Japan on it. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see. In it's there, so it says Japan. So I'm going to put that on my Etsy shop. And I also picked this up, which I guess is kind of 80s. I don't know, but I love the colors. It's cute. It's aqua and pink. It's I definitely it's the colors so, of the room. Right? It's so pretty for um for now and then for into spring. I think it's really pretty. And it was only um a dollar ninety nine and this is a really nice frame. Like this is solid wood, really well mm. well constructed and a nice wire for hanging it. So that was a good deal for a dollar ninety nine. So that was all from Salvation Army. Then we took our lunch break and then right. our last little bit. Is the box over there? Oh, let me get the box. Hold on. I found I see one other thing oh, from nice. Salvation Army. It was a dollar ninety-nine. And I think it's really cute. I got I know that it's missing its lid. It's a teapot, but that's fine. I'm gonna put flowers in it and keep it out for spring because I thought the color was gorgeous. I agree. And it's I like really, the little flowers really in it. Really pretty, too. and it it's like accented with gold. It's not marked at all, but that's fine. And it looks like it's made of terracotta because of the red ring. Just a certain kind of clay. Okay, so our last stop was called Bibles for Missions Thrift Store. And it was in like, I don't know if it was North Minneapolis or, Go I think it was Golden Valley. I think it was Didn't Golden Valley. Didn't you say Valley. it was Robbinsdale? Or maybe Robbinsdale. It might have been Robbinsdale. We're not really sure. Know, you could Google it. It was but, um And we met a subscriber there. Her name was Peggy. Hi, Peggy. And so that was fun. And so um, you want to show them what you got first? Sure, because mine's on top. Okay. Well, starting off, I think I should start with my bag. Okay, start with your bag. Again, I'm not pregnant. It just happens that they make the best things for the pregnant ladies of the world. I got this little over the shoulder kind of bag, which is nice. Um, I'm going to Florida for spring break, so I thought it would be good to have something like this just to be able to carry my stuff. It says it's for breastfeeding, but <laughs> it's just a backpack. It won't be breastfeeding. It's just but a it backpack. It is a useful bag. It is, yeah. So I liked it, and it. And there was another one like this that wasn't for breastfeeding, um, and that one was five dollars, and this one was one ninety nine. So I was like, so. And it doesn't say anywhere that it's for breastfeeding. Well, on the tag. 
Well, I mean, you're going to take that off. Right. Similac, I mean, that's the only thing that, like, Similac's a, a brand of formula. But other than that, there's no way. Yum. There's no way to know. Yeah. So it's got a little polka dotted pattern on it. I don't know if you can see it. But I thought it was cute. And it'll be perfect for little traveling trips and things. So. Mm -hmm. And then I got some clothes, <laughs> naturally. I got this black, another little uh, velour. That's what it's called, right? Mm -hmm. Velour sweatshirt. Um, which I wear with my mom jeans. This is actually a child extra large, but kids clothes are cheaper and I can fit to them. So why not? Um, so this one, it's just, I would wear it open again, unzipped, kind of cute. Um, the prices were kind of wonky. Like they just had like a, a chart and oh, then yeah. it said how much everything was. So like it was like men's sweaters, women's yeah, sweaters. This one was like 250, I think for like child's hoodies or something. Mm -hmm. So that's this one. Um, and then I got, I don't know if any of you know the brand life is good. I'm a fiend for Life is Good. I have like five of their shirts because I always find them at thrift stores or at the bins or something because they're really expensive if you buy them brand new. This one is like a men's extra large, but I figured I could cut it into something cute, but it says Life is Good with a little golfer. And one of my favorite parts, there does appear to be a little like fading, but I I'm all- they're always faded. Yeah, they kind of are, but no, this is a little different. It's just like, um, it looks a little white there. Do you see it? But I'm all for the vintage look and then it's always got the little- Life is good, smiley face on the back. So cute. that is a men's large, but I'm going to cut it and make it fit a little better. So I thought it'd be cute. And then my last thing, as you know, I'm a dancer, so I need athletic apparel. So I got this little just cute what athletic back, tank yeah. top. The, the back, back is cute. It's got crossy. I don't know what this brand is. Gap Fit. Oh, Gap Fit oh, is a nice Gap. brand. That's yeah. nice. So it's a small, so. And do you remember how much that was? This one was probably like three dollars. I think the women's athletic gear was a little more. Bucks, yeah, and then I have one more. Oh, here thing. it is. This is and my favorite. Then, thing, this is my favorite thing. Would you say that's your favorite for the store or favorite for the day? Probably for the day, I'd say it's kind of fun and different. So it's this little kind of like tie-dye bead necklace. They're like little clay beads. It's got this little. Oh, that's good. Faux leather chain type deal, and it was only a dollar forty-nine. Real leather. No way to know. No, I guess it's not. Is it ropey? You can't tell. It's some kind of yeah. fake real leather. We're not sure. But it's it was really only a dollar forty nine. It was really cute. So I just I thought it'd be nice for your trip. For yes. Your Summary. Flow ride a trip. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then moving on to what I got there. Okay, I have a question for you all. You can tell me in the comments what you think these might be. I think are they ice grabbers? They're front they're made in Japan, so they're vintage. They're like little tongs, but so I don't know. They were in the kitchen gear. Um I don't know. You can tell me if that's what you think they are. I'm not entirely sure. They were only, I think it was 39 cents or 49 cents a piece. So I got them both because they're made in Japan and I don't know. They're kind of neat looking. Cool. And then I got this. Oh, Ooh. I love this. It's a really old book. Is that cake going to come Ake Inside? Yeah, I think so. I paid, yeah, I paid $4.99 for it. So I paid up for it, but look at the cover. It's so pretty. Mary J. Holmes. It's really old and it does not have a copyright. I don't know what that means. Ooh, There's that a picture actually. of the author. That's I cool. think it's really cool. Really pretty. Does it smell old? Oh. It smells old. That does smell like old books. So maybe the copyright page fell out. I don't know. I have to do a little research on it, but I got it mostly just because I want to set it on a shelf. I got, I love this picture. It's, it's really pretty. pretty. Little Victorian lady is very pretty. And it matches your quilt. It, oh, it totally matches my quilt. Okay, and then I found this. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I got this for April decor. It's like a little boy or girl. I mean, maybe it's a boy, I don't know. In a rain jacket with an cute. umbrella and galoshes. And so I thought, you know, April showers bring May flowers. I could put this in my spring decor. And I think that'll be really cute. Maybe in a little vignette. Tell me price, that super cheap. Oh, it was super cheap. It was 49 cents and... It looks like it has some kind of mark that has worn off. I don't know what that originally said. I got these two pieces of artwork. I think I'm going to keep this one because it has a barn in it and a puppy and a, a little chickadee, which I love, and the birch. Um, but then I also got this one. I think I'm going to list this one. So it's a kitty um, looking up at a bird feeder with so like cute. a cardinal and a squirrel. I just think these are uh, just adorable. And um, so it looks like the artwork was done in 93 and then the matte artwork was done in 94. So it is old enough to list on Etsy. So I'm gonna list that on Etsy. And then the last thing that I got. Ooh, I like this. Thanks. 
I got this. I'm doing a challenge sometime this month and I'm gonna use this for that. I think I'm gonna paint some of it. I think I'm gonna paint the frame of it white and then use it for this challenge that I'm a part of. It's an upcycling thing. And this was a dollar ninety nine. So all right. Is and that... I think that covers it. So Molly, yeah. your favorite item of the day was the necklace? The necklace, say? yes. And then after the necklace, what's your favorite piece of clothing that you got? My pink velour maternity hoodie. It's really cute. It's very cute. Nicole Northgarden, what was your favorite item of the day? I think my favorite item, it's a toss up. I'm, I'm gonna say the quilt. I think the quilt is my favorite for the day. That's a good um, one. I also, but you know, I really do like the book. That's a good one too. And I really do like the figurine. So maybe I have a three-way tie. Okay. But fine. I'm going to say, you know what? I think the quilt edges out the other two. Okay. Just a little bit. So. Um, You should let us know in the comments below what your favorite item of the day yes. is. So that we can kind of. Yeah. Because it's just fun. It's just fun. All right. And that's all that we have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what we found when we went on our thrifting adventure. If you like this kind of content, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel where I upload thrifting, decor, and DIY videos. And of course, find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Until my next video, take care. Stay Bye. Nice. <laughs> update. Mr. North Garden got home and he likes his vest. Good stuff. Second update. I'm just cutting the tags off my uh, breastfeeding bag. And I opened it up and I got a surprise. <laughs> so I have a coupon for Bordeaux's butt paste that expired uh, February 29th of 2012. So <laughs> that bus paste is probably, <laughs> that bu <laughs> the butt paste is probably no longer good. I'm guessing uh, you probably shouldn't use that. Probably won't try it. Okay. So.